this course. Okay, so anyway, let me, oh, yeah, I just upgraded my Tencent meeting account, okay? So, uh, guys, okay, please uh, turn on your camera, okay? Let's see if there is any limitation of it, okay? Please turn on your camera. Hello. Please turn on your camera. Hello, Bob. Yeah. So, uh, other guys, please also turn on your camera. Let, let me see whether there still exist the uh, limitation. Okay. Please keep on. Yeah. Sador, please. Yeah. I think. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Just. Okay. Okay. There's no limitation now. Yeah. Because last Friday, okay, when I tried it, okay, there are just uh, three guys can open the camera simultaneously. Okay. But you know, uh, since the final exam uh, is the online exam using, using the Tencent meeting, okay, so you all of you should turn on your camera okay, during the exam. Okay, okay uh, uh, that's fine. Okay, so now you can turn off your camera. Okay, and then let me check the attendance. Okay, thank you. Okay. Give me a second, we open the attendance sheet. Akazu Kati Lam, eleven. Takazu Kabi Lam, eleven. Kakazut Kabri Lam, eleven. Noor A. Mohammed Pirabitikov, seventeen. Noor A. Mohammed Pirabitikov, seventeen. Noor A. A. Mohammed Pirabitikov, seventeen. Yas Salazak, thirty six. Yas Salazak, thirty six. Yas Salazak, thirty six. Masudu Zaman, yes, yes, Okay. Ibrahim Rob Job, yes, 29. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, hi, Tema Kia, 30. Yes, thank you. Okay. Meko M. Safa, 5. Meko. M. Safa, five. Menko M. Safa, five. Menko M. Safa, five. Solomon Carlton, six. Solomon Carlton, six. Solomon Carlton, six. Tamar Marik Taminov, ten. Tamar Marik Taminov, ten. Tamar Marik Taminov, ten. This is the final exam. Okay, why? 
when you guys can come. Rise, David, Georg, all. No. Okay. Asibu Rahman Noir, 14. Asibu Rahman Noir, 14. Asibu Rahman Noir, 14. Mehwarab Hosen, 15. Mehwarab Hosen, 15. Mehwarab Hosen, 15. Jantar Fetus, 21. Jantar Fetus, 21. Oh. Oh, Jantar Fetus, 21. Abraham Key, Kromas, 22. Yes, well, sure, I'm here. Okay. Solomon K. Sawyer, 26. Solomon K. Sawyer, 26. Yes, yes Okay. Hidlam Kalahuan Mamo, 29. Yes, Laoshi. Okay. Okay, number six. Number six. Number six. Solomon. Yeah. Okay. Next, Laiquen Asifa, 30. Next, Laiquen Asifa, 30. Next, Laiquen Asifa, 30. Anna Akuloa, 32. Anna Akuloa, 32. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Lawan Takabo Gubri Maring, 36. Yes, Toshi. <coughs> Okay. Other man are climbing, 36. I'm here, Lausha. Okay. Let me share my screen. <laughs> So, uh, today let's have a final review about uh, this course. So, uh, today, okay, we firstly uh, discussed about our final exam, okay. So, uh, uh, so you know, Exactly which day? I haven't leave school. Okay, before the final exam. Okay. We will not uh final exam uh schedule okay has been uh, redesigned uh, i don't know uh, we will uh, we will have our exam final exam uh, exactly uh, this exam is closed for exam okay so uh since you have already taken in the online exam before, okay, so you should not. Okay. So remember, okay, to write your, your student ID, okay, in the name. Uh, after I receive, okay, uh, your scan, uh, your, uh, your scan copy of your, uh, uh, print them out. And uh, improve, okay. And read on them uh, which uh, which paper okay, belongs to whom. Okay. So you 
remember to write your ID, student ID and the name on each page. Okay. We should only display the examination paper, okay? Otherwise, and also, Ah, your answer. Okay. Okay. So many questions. Okay, so I am to do them. Okay, so question and so uh planes of the exam should be uh okay if there's not something wrong. It should be this. Uh, and uh, about question, okay, it's multiple times. Uh, okay. So, okay, after uh, the exam, okay, you should, okay, uh, within. Single uh, PDO file. With the student ID and the send to my in into one. Okay. Uh, try them. Then, okay, the what I use the uh, in uh, or draw uh, means the answer is. And the uh, okay, it can convert them into self of the uh, on the sheets to go of okay. Uh, please be aware about uh, the page, okay. The page sequence, okay? don't mean as them up. Okay. And because of that, um, I may able to, I may not be able to find a uh, certain question. <laughs> so, once okay, again, you should to uh, speak within five minutes after the end of the exam. Okay. Okay, so here. Uh, any question about uh, this final exam? Here? About the okay, how to take the final exam? So any question here? Yes. Writing course. What is my right? What is my writing course? Oh, uh, yeah, it could, uh, it could be, uh, what, but it could be, but uh, not, not so much, uh, not just, uh, if, if it exists, okay, uh, I think just one question and enough, okay. If there exists such question, uh, it should be just one, okay, not too much. Okay, so let me first uh, have the final review, okay, and I think uh, we will have still have some spare time so that you can answer the question then. Okay. When the exam will be low? Okay. Uh, 
Was it they? I don't know because that uh, originally it should be on the uh, on the I think it should be December twenty six. But now, okay, as I just mentioned, okay, because of the COVID nineteen pandemic, okay, so the entire final exam uh, schedule, okay, has to be re uh, has to be rescheduled okay, now. But I'm not sure about uh, uh, the exact date of our final exam. Okay. Uh, so maybe you can ask about uh, ask, uh, uh, for instance, Miss Ling. Okay. Uh, currently, I don't uh, I haven't been informed about the exact date okay, about the final exam. But it should be on the 18th week. We got the link yesterday. Huh? Hello. Uh, we got a link uh, link for the final exam programs. And uh, I think it says 26 by 26, it will be. Oh, uh, still 26? Yeah, it's still 26. OK, so all in all, it, it should be on the uh, uh, 20, December 26, uh, 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 4, 4 PM. It okay, starts from 4 PM to uh, 5, uh, sorry, to uh, 10 to 6 PM. OK, so 110 minutes. Okay. Uh, uh, so is that is that is that correct? Is, is that its time? Um, I don't think that there is a specific time. It only says that today is on twenty sixth December. Yeah, because that uh, originally it uh, it is scheduled on the uh, December twenty sixth and uh, four pm. Okay. Uh, so you can uh, prepare okay <laughs> uh, for that. <laughs> Okay, okay. And so I have a final review. Okay. The way this course, okay, what's the name of this course, okay? The embed the system uh, and the development. So yeah, what is the embedded system? Okay, so we need to know its definition. Okay. So embedded system, okay, firstly, it is a First of all, it is a specialized computer system, and it has it is application center. Security requirements on function. Reliability, cost, volume, and the power assumption. Oh, sorry. Something okay. wrong. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me see. Sorry. Okay, so it is application centered and based on computer knowledge, but with reducible software and hardware, and has strict requirements on function, reliability, cost, volume, and power assumption. Then, uh, the embedded processor types, okay, obviously the typical architecture. Just speaking, uh, currently uh, there exist uh, uh, five typical architectures of embedded processors. Okay, so uh, some of them, okay, uh, some of them do not exist at the very beginning. For instance, okay, SOPC, okay, it is uh, developed okay, from SOC, while uh, DSP, okay, it is uh, specially designed for certain uh, digital signal processing. Okay. So, it, so not, aware, not at the very beginning of the embedded process, okay, there are five typical uh, architecture exist. Okay. At the very beginning, actually, there exists just MCU and the MPU. Okay. 
So here, MCU, okay. MCU, okay, stands for micro control unit. So it's also called a single chip computer. So it, in, it has ROM, RAM, bus, timer, watchdog, I.O., port, EPROM, and the flash together okay, uh, on a single chip. So in general speaking, we can consider that okay, it uh, integrates uh, the entire computer system to one single chip. So that's why you see that, call it the single chip computer. So the typical model of the okay, MCU okay, includes okay, uh, 80, uh, 51, 80, 96C, uh, 80, 51F, and so on. So the micro uh, control unit uh, are widely used uh, in industry uh, to control uh, the machines. So it's usually equipped with uh, the industrial control system, not the uh, not the conventional embedded system. It usually equipped with the industrial control system. DSP, okay. DSP stands for Digital Signal Process Processor. So it is uh, designed for real-time signal processing. So in DSP, okay, uh, special instruction structure and algorithm are designed. Uh, so it's widely used in digital filtering, FFT, and uh, spectrum analysis. Uh, its typical model includes uh, TMS uh, 320C as uh, solvent or C5 solvent. The MPU. MPU stands for uh, Microprocessor Unit. The MPU is uh, involved from CPU uh, and with high performance. So it has different water lengths okay, from varies from uh, 16, 32 to uh, 64. Okay. So it has a rich purifiers in the faces. So in general speaking, okay, uh, in this class, okay, when we uh, mentioned about the uh, embedded processor, okay, we usually refer to the MPU. Okay. And it has a very, uh, as many well-known okay, uh, um, architectures for MPU. Okay. For instance, ARM series, uh, MIPS, uh, PowerPC, and so on. Okay. And SOC, uh, SOC stands for the uh, system on chip. So, uh, Besides the processor, okay, a large scale okay, integrated chip can integrate several DSP cores and the peripheral devices. So SOC is a kind of high end product. While SOPC okay, it stands for a system on program chip. So it not only has all features and all SOC, but uh, uh, it has uh, the F F uh, FPGA, okay, the Field Program Data Array, okay, for implementing an uh, embedded system on SOPC. So here, we can use F FPGA to program on it. Uh, then, okay, so within uh, the embedded uh, system hierarchy, okay, there is a layer okay, called the hardware abstraction layer. Okay. Uh, so this layer okay, is a layer uh, of software abstraction between the hardware and the OS. Okay. Of course, the hardware abstraction layer is still part of the operating system. Okay. And this layer okay, has three uh, components. Firstly, the bootloader. Then, uh, the board support package, then the device driver. For the bootloader, okay. bootloader, okay, 
uh, actually is a program uh, that runs before the OS kernel runs. Okay, so the code loader uh, is somehow uh, uh, similar to the BIOS on our PC. Okay. So what is the functionality of the loader? Okay. It is to complete uh, the initialization of hardware device and establish the mapping of memory space, then uh, load the OS into the memory. I say it, it, this functionality is almost the same uh, as the BIOS. While the BSP, okay, all the support package. Uh, but BSP okay, abstracts uh, the hardware operation for OS and make OS code independent of hardware. Uh, why we need a BSP okay, in the embedded uh, system? Okay. It is because that uh, uh, embedded devices uh, has many architectures, okay? uh, for instance, MPU, MCU, uh, uh, as I so say, BSP. And even for a, sing for a single type of architecture, for instance, MPU, okay, it also has different uh, series. Okay? For instance, ARM, um, MIPS, okay? Uh, X86 uh, and so on. Right. While PC, okay, uh, it has a few architectures. Okay, actually, just uh, X86, and Apple, okay, MD, and so on. A very few types of architectures. Okay. So, generally speaking, uh, PC uh, does not need uh, the bot support package. So, uh, Although, okay, uh, the uh, functions are similar, okay. Different embedded uh, operating systems has different, have different uh, uh, definitions of PSP. Well, the device driver, okay. Uh, actually, device driver, okay, we just discussed it, okay, uh, in our uh, recent uh, lectures, okay. So okay, it uh, shares uh, it shares the details of various hardware components and the peripherals, and okay, provide a unified software interface uh, for operating hardware. Okay, in general speaking, okay, uh, it uh, pro it is an uh, interface uh, between uh, the OS and the hardware. So the OS uh, use the device driver to operate uh, the hardware. Okay. And also, okay, we can okay, implement our own uh, device driver. Okay. So in Linux, in embedded Linux, okay, the device driver okay, is usually uh, installed in the format of the loadable kernel module. Okay. And we can write our own Ah, uh, load work kernel module. Okay. I something wrong. Then you can see the uh, MPU's architecture. Like the okay, uh, 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 like the CPU. Okay, actually, okay, MPU can also be categorized into the RISC and the CISC. But uh, here, okay, uh, in our course, okay. Uh, we uh, discussed uh, uh, the ARM uh, MPU okay, uh, for a uh, certain uh, with uh, and for, for several lectures. Okay, so here okay, 
huh, is a kind of IC okay, reduced uh, instruction set computer. Okay. So why it called the IC? Okay, because that uh, uh, the processors like ARM, okay, they have limited a uh, single instruction set. Okay. So within such an instruction set, okay, it has the most uh, uh, frequently used instructions and uh, do not have the complex instructions like the CIC. Okay. CIC is the okay, complex uh, instruction set computer. So what is the benefit of the, uh, the ILC processor? Okay. So firstly, okay, because of such a limited simple instruction set, okay, it has the fixed uh, instruction length and the format. And I will uh, fill uh, addressing mode. And uh, for each instruction, okay, uh, the ex execution time is, is shorter. Uh, and also, okay, it is with the, uh, usually the processor is uh, with the instruction pipeline optimization. Okay? For instance, uh, five stage. Uh, instruction pipeline okay, in the ARM processor. Okay. That is, that means that uh, each instruction is divided okay, each into uh, several stages and okay, this, they are executed uh, in parallel. Okay, so which can uh, greatly uh, improve the execution uh, speed. But of course, uh, it also has some uh, drawbacks. Okay. So, uh, since the uh, instruction is short and simple, so uh, instructions have uh, comparatively uh, less functionalities. Okay. So uh, to remedy this, a IIC MPU okay, is really equipped with a large number of general registers. Okay. So to use the hardware to enhance the uh, uh, functionalities of the instructions. So the typical IIC processor okay, includes the MIPS processor and ARM processor. And ATPCS, okay, uh, SHPDS okay, stands for ARM SOM Procedure Call Standard. Okay. So it is the basic rule of the procedure call okay, in the ARM SOM program. So uh, this standard okay, uh, makes the C function and the assembly function can call each other. Just speaking, okay, this standard okay, contains the uh, uh, basic rules, uh, like the uh, register rules, uh, data stack rules, and the parameter passing rule. Okay. Then the uh, five stage instruction pipeline. So this is used by ARM processor. So what is the five stage? The five stage is uh, instruction fetch, instruction decode, okay. execute instruction, memory access, and uh, write back in this five stage. So. Uh, how can they be executed simultaneously? Okay, so in that at one time, okay, uh, there at a certain time, okay, there can be five uh, instructions uh, are executed, but uh, the the executed stage of each instruction are different. Okay, so for instance, maybe the first instruction, okay, uh, you. Uh, it is uh, uh, on the right back stage, while the second one uh, is on the memory access stage, the third one okay, is on the execute instructions uh, stage, while the fourth one okay, is on the instruction decode uh, stage, while the fifth one okay, is still on the instruction fetch stage. So for the instruction fetch, okay, uh, in this stage, uh, it reads the uh, next expected instruction into the buffer. Okay. While the instruction decode, okay, 
this one uh, determines OP codes and operand specifiers. Uh, and also, uh, it uh, calculates the operands, okay, uh, way in which it okay, calculates the effective address of each source operands. Finally, it fetch operands uh, in which uh, fetch each operands from memory. Okay, uh, then the embedded development. Okay, so here uh, in our class, okay, we discussed the host target uh, development model. So here, okay, uh, the what is the host machine? Okay, uh, the host machine is usually uh, refers to a uh, conventional computer. Okay, for instance, an x86 machine. Well, the target machine. Uh, a target is usually an embedded machine. Just speaking, it is a uh, non x86 platform. So here, we cannot develop uh, our application on the target machine. So the development uh, is the development environment in our host. Okay? But the compiled executable okay, will be run on this target. So the environment is like that. Yeah. Uh, so in this example, okay, the conventional uh, computer runs the Ubuntu OS, okay, and it equips with the ARM Linux GCC. Uh, this cross uh, platform, okay, uh, is cross platform uh, uh, environment. Okay. Then the target machine, okay, is the uh, uh, the embedded one. So which can maybe we run the embedded Linux. Then okay, we can program on uh, this on the host here. Okay. Then we uh, compile the program. Okay. The compile the thing uh, the executable. Okay. So we can okay, directly copy it to the uh, embedded Linux, or oh, before that, we can uh, do some debugging, okay, like the Unix uh, simulator. Uh, then, anyway, so remember that the core idea for the host target development mode is that uh, we develop uh, the applic embedded application on the conventional system okay, and compile it. Only the executable okay, will be run on the on the embedded system because that usually okay, the embedded or the target machine okay, is just uh, an, an embedded development board. Okay, so that you do not have the uh, conventional uh, IO devices. So that uh, uh, it's hard to do the uh, debugging on it. Uh, of course, it also it can, it's hard to do the development on it. So it, all the, these steps we need to do on the host. Okay. Then the ARM MPU feature. Okay. So ARM, okay. ARM stands for the ARM uh, Advanced uh, RISA machine. So uh, it has the following features. Firstly, uh, it is an RISA processor. Okay? Uh, then okay, it is with low power consumption, but uh, with high performance. For the instruction set, okay, it supports the SUM and ARM, okay, which is the 16-bit instruction set and the 32-bit instruction sets, uh, respectively. And okay, ARM also a compatible uh, with the uh, 8 bits and uh, 16 bits embedded devices. Well, the most uh, data operation okay, in ARM, a processor, are performed uh, in the registers. Okay, so ARM okay, applies some special uh, techniques to ensure the high performance. So uh, the time, the chip size and the power consumption are reduced as much as possible. 
So what is the special techniques uh, applied by ARM processing and for the uh, data processing instructions uh, includes both arithmetic logic processing and shift processing. Then uh, it use address auto increment uh, uh, increase or decrease to optimize loop processing. The load of store instructions okay, can transfer data in batches, increase the speed of data transmission. Whether an instruction to be executed, it depends on the execution results uh, of previous instructions so as to improve the execution efficiency of instructions. Okay, then let's take a look at the system call. So what is system call? Okay. System call is actually an interface okay, uh, provided by the system kernel to the user level application. Okay. So in general speaking, uh, the user level application can leverage your system call to acquire the uh, system kernel services. So in general speaking, okay, this is a kind of API okay, which will uh, eventually okay, invokes uh, the uh, kernel functions. Of course, uh, once the uh, system call is invoked, okay, because it is invoked by the uh, user level application, okay, we know that the user level application uh, is executed uh, with the user privilege, but uh, the kernel function should be executed. Okay, with the kernel privilege, obviously a root privilege. So once the system call uh, is invoked, uh, the control will be transferred okay, from the user level application uh, to the kernel. Okay. So the following uh, 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 following calls uh, invocations of kernel functions are actually done by the system kernel. Okay. While the uh, uh, the user level application are actually just uh, passing some parameters uh, to these functions. Okay, so there are uh, several, there are uh, different kinds of system calls. Okay. So here, okay, in Linux, uh, in embedded Linux, okay, uh, the system calls for process control okay, includes the fork, exit, and uh, execution so fork okay fork is used to create process process okay so uh, we can use this to create a new process okay. uh, so a new process okay, may be created with the fork okay, with without a new program in run uh, the new sub process simply uh, continues to execute the exact same program okay, that the parent process was running. So, uh, because that uh, we know that uh, we launch a program, okay, it should be uh, a new process okay, without the program. But actually, okay, we can almost duplicate the parent process. Just speaking, uh, uh, the uh, fork, okay, is one of the most widely used system calls okay, on the process management. Okay, let's uh, have a rest, a five minutes rest. Hello, Laoshi. Hello, Laoshi. Hello. My ID is 14. Oh, okay. Laoshi, my ID is 05. Michael. Okay. okay. Yeah, Michael and my is... one is 14, Laoshi. Hasid. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael, 05. Yeah.
Just speaking, uh, when we terminate a program, 
the exit system call uh, will executed by this program automatically. Of course, okay, uh, you can uh, manually execute it at a certain place in your program before the normal termination. Once the uh, exit system call okay, is invoked, okay, the OS uh, reclaims the resources uh, that were used uh, by the process. Uh, so here, the uh, so-called uh, reclaimed resources okay, includes uh, the uh, memory space, uh, uh, the registers, uh, the open the files, and so on. And execution. Uh, so uh, with this system call, uh, a new program will start executing. So here, uh, we know that the fork system call okay, will also can run a new program, but uh, it is to create a new process. The difference uh, for the, from the execute system call is that execute system call does not uh, a new, class, new process to be created. And any process can call it at any time. Once uh, it is called, okay, the current, uh, uh, the currently running programming uh, program okay, is immediately terminated. And the new program it starts executing uh, in the text context of the existing process. Here, the so called context okay, includes the, the process base uh, registers and uh, open the resources and so on. Okay. Just speaking into like that, it uh, uh, replaces uh, the originally. Uh, running program with this new program. Okay. We, in our previous lecture, okay, we also discussed uh, the, the compilation okay, of the uh, Linux kernel. Okay. Because the Linux kernel okay, is a very complex project. Okay. So uh, the uh, files to support this uh, compilation okay, is also complex. It involves uh, different kind of files, such as the uh, key configure, uh, make file, and the dot configure. Make file, okay, we know that it is the file that uh, contains the rules that okay, tells makes uh, which files to be compiled and how to compile. While uh, the config, key configure, okay, is mainly used as uh, configuration options during the kernel configuration. Okay. We know that. Uh, to install the, uh, how we say, to compile the Linux kernel, okay, there has many uh, uh, options okay, because that we cannot compile the or compile all the source code of uh, of a Linux kernel, okay, because some of the uh, source code within the uh, Linux kernel, okay, they can uh, their executable cannot be uh, uh, exist, uh, coexist at the same time. Okay. For instance, uh, the architecture related files. Okay. So it's uh, only uh, one architecture uh, related files can be exist within the kernel, okay, which should be uh, the same as the, uh, as the hardware. Okay. Well, dot config, okay. This one, okay. For you to use the in the uh, kernel compilation reference file. Okay. Okay. And then Qt. Okay. Qt. Okay. We discuss the Qt and also uh, do, uh, also uh, did an experiment. Okay. The experiment uh, number two. Okay. So in Qt, okay, uh, it is core mechanism is the uh, signals and slots. Okay. So uh, the normal callback function pointers in other uh, uh, GUI uh, development tools okay, are replaced by signals and source. 
So what is the benefits uh, of using signals and slots? So uh, with that, uh, we can write the program more uh, concise and clear. And unlike the callback functions, signals and slots can carry any numbers and the type of parameters, so which is uh, type C, okay, and uh, do not cause any crash uh, like the callback function. Of course, okay, uh, with such benefits, okay, it also incurs some uh, overhead. Okay, so that's uh, okay when consider when considering about the uh, execution speed. Okay, it is slightly slower. Uh, then a callback functions. Okay, so why do you say the signals and slots can okay, type C? So firstly, uh, the signature uh, of a signal okay, match <coughs> the signature of the receiving slot. So uh, since the signatures are compatible, uh, the compiler can uh, help us to detect uh, type mismatches okay, when using the uh, function point based uh, syntax. The string based signal and uh, start syntax okay, will detect type mismatches at the runtime. And uh, the signals and slots, they are loosely cooked. And as I just mentioned, okay, uh, signals and slots it can take any number of arguments of any time. So all, uh, all of them okay, uh, results in uh, uh, type C uh, signals and slots we can use. Okay, so uh, in the uh, standard two, okay, uh, we uh, create a simple calculator okay, using QT okay, like that. Okay. So we know that okay, uh, this is all the uh, several several different widgets, right? Okay. Uh, the line editor, okay, the label, uh, the button, and so on. And uh, uh, here, okay, we apply the uh, slots and the signals, right? Uh, for instance. Well, because we want that once we click okay, the equal sign button, okay, the uh, two numbers here in the, in the line editors should be added together and put uh, the sum okay, and the third line editor. So here we need to provide uh, a slot function uh, and associate the associated slot uh, with the signal. So here, okay, uh, we say that okay, uh, we assign and we associate the click signal okay, to this uh, uh, equal sign button slot. So in general speaking, uh, once the uh, equal sign button okay, receive uh, the click signal, okay, the corresponding uh, slot function will be executed. Then here, uh, the, this is uh, the slot uh, function. The prototype of the function is automatically uh, generated by the QT. So we just uh, need to write the body of this function. Okay. So uh, the details of this code, okay, we will we already discussed in our lecture. Okay. This is just uh, do some error checking okay, and uh, okay, for the inputs okay, to see whether they are numbers. Okay. And uh, then uh, if they are, are correct, uh, 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 numbers, okay, then we add them together and uh, assign the sum of the uh, two numbers uh, to the third uh, line edit and output it. Okay, okay then in the, our third experiment, okay, uh, we use the SQL Lite, right? Okay. So the SQL Lite is a lightweighted uh, database, okay, which can be used on the embedded system. Because it's really very small. Okay. So its size can be uh, less than 10 megabytes. 
Of course, here okay, it can be also be used in a conventional system. Okay. So here we use C four lines, okay, and if you actually use the C four language for the uh, database operations, for instance, uh, create table, okay, uh, and uh, uh, here uh, and also for other uh, uh, like the insert, okay, insert the records to a table, okay. And the user select, okay. All this create, insert, select, okay. Are all follows the standard, okay, SQL uh, uh, language. Okay. So this is since you have already uh, learned the uh, database course, okay. So and we also have discussed them in the evaluation. Okay. So it should be easy to understand. Okay. All, but here, okay, despite of uh using uh, the SQL language uh, within the, yeah, here is the SQLite, okay, console, okay, we can use SQL language. But also, okay, we can programming, okay, with the SQLite library, okay. So here is uh, our third experiment, right? Uh, so with this uh, piece of code, okay, uh, we can uh, output uh, the execution result, of a uh, SQL language, right? Mm. So this is a callback function, okay, which actually displays the results uh, of the execution uh, SQL language. Uh, and uh, here, okay, uh, to use the SQLite uh, libraries, okay, we need to include the SQLite 3.h. Okay. So okay, how to migrate the SQLite to the embedded system? Okay, actually, we just need to migrate uh, the SQLite executable and also uh, its uh, uh, library to the embedded system, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, of course, okay, for libraries, we need to create a, a software link. Uh, we don't have to uh, migrate the entire SQLite files uh, to the embedded system. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> so here, okay, in this piece of code, okay, uh, we actually use some uh, SQLite 3 APIs, okay. For instance, the SQLite 3 open, okay. So this one is used to open an existing or create a new uh, SQLite database, okay. Uh, then with the database, okay, uh, uh, we can uh, execute and SQL uh, statement. Okay. So here, okay, this IRGB, okay, this parameter is actually the uh, uh, SQL uh, statement. So we can see that this is uh, uh, the usage, okay, usage uh, the database uh, SQL statement. So with this one, uh, this SQL is very execute, okay, we see that this is a callback, it means that we will use this callback function to uh, fetch uh, the execution result of the uh, execution uh, of the SQL statement. And finally, okay, to after using uh, uh, this program, okay, we need to remember to close uh, the SQL line database. Okay. So then today, okay, we also discussed the uh, Linux kernel module, okay? So this is our experiment four, right? Uh, so in this kernel module, okay, uh, we uh, designed, okay, uh, a very simple uh, utility function, okay, my print here. Okay. Uh, uh, of course, to write this kernel module, okay, to remember to include okay, uh, this, these header files, okay. So Linux slash modules is required by all Linux kernel modules. While the kernel.h okay, here is used for the uh, kernel info. Okay. While the init.h is generally speaking also used by most of the kernel modules. Okay. Because that it is it, it can support the macros okay, like the uh, module init. Okay. So my print is a utility function provided by this notebook kernel module, okay? uh, 
and here hello load and hello unload okay use other uh, initialization uh, function and uh, uh, it is function of this anomaly. So this one, a okay, hello load will be executed once uh, the kernel, uh, once the Linux kernel can okay, use the uh, install into the kernel. While this one okay, will be uh, executed uh, once the kernel module is removed from the kernel. And the module you need and the module you exit uh, to use to, to register these functions. And once this kernel okay, is loaded into the module, okay, my print okay, is also uh, will be tested on the uh, on a single table. And here, okay, you can make file uh, for this module. So uh, remember that uh, here uh, is uh, uh, this this piece of blanks okay, actually a uh, hot tape. So I don't, I'm not sure about her. Uh, on your experiment, okay, uh, uh, mm, we were able to uh, compile the, uh, this uh, module source code, okay, correct? Okay. Don't, uh, don't use several spaces, okay, it uh, might lead to uh, some error, okay. So if everything goes well, okay, uh, you should display it like that, okay, uh, type make, okay. and these things are generated. Okay. So here the hello okay uh, dot k uh, is the uh, is the generated load box kernel mode. We can use install mode okay uh, command to uh, install this kernel module into the kernel. And uh, uh, once the hello module is installed, okay, it's a uh, uh, hello load function will be executed, and uh, it should. Uh, Write uh, this line of strings to the kernel uh, uh, to the kernel log. Okay. So we can use the uh, tail minus f to check it. Also, okay, uh, we can use the uh, slash proc okay, uh, uh, file system to check whether the modules have been successfully installed. So here, okay, we can see that uh, the hello can okay, exist in the current uh, modules. Well, uh, we, if we check the slash prod, uh, slash k all symbols, then we can see the map print, okay? This function has been added uh, into the uh, kernel symbol uh, info. Okay. Then about uh, the uh, management of uh, devices in the Linux uh, uh, kernel, okay? We know that in Linux system, there are three types of devices, uh, the target devices, block devices, and the network devices. Okay. Actually, the management of the target devices and block devices are similar. Okay. So they are all considered, be considered as a file, okay, either the target device or a block device. Okay. And so we can uh, use the file operations on, on them. But the network device are different. Okay? It has a uh, specialized uh, API to manage, man to manage them. So here in, in our lecture, okay, we use the character device management as an example. Okay? Actually, they are organized as an array. Okay? Well, each index is okay, the device number, and each element okay, describes the, the live file of the device. And uh, the array is uh, of a structure uh, device a structure. And uh, this one structure has uh, two fields. The first one is name. Okay. Name is a point points to the name of the device file. While the FOPS okay, contains the uh, actually the point point to a set of file operations okay, that. Well, these file operations okay, should be implemented by the device driver. But actually, we don't have to implement all these file operations. We just only uh, just need to implement uh, the needed ones. But just speaking, the open, read, and uh, write, uh, we should uh, implement. And uh, what's stop? 
uh, what stock uh, is very useful uh, for an embedded system? Okay. Because that uh, when the embedded external interference uh, a system error. The program will sometimes run out and uh, cause a error. But in such cases, the workshop is often added to the system. So, the workshop can recover it. And here is how the workshop is designed. Okay. So, generally speaking, it also okay, runs within a cycle. So the cycle should be uh, slightly briefer than the, uh, the normal cycle of the Is uh, 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 any question about uh, what the guys are the uh, 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 Some guys come late, okay? Uh, so uh, let me say again, okay? So our final exam, okay, uh, will be on December uh, 26, okay? Uh, and uh, it is the online exam, uh, and uh, it is a closed book, okay? We will use the tensor meeting for this final exam. And uh, uh, you need to prepare uh, blank ACE papers okay, as answer sheet. For each page of the answer sheets, okay, you need to write uh, your. Hello, sir. Hello. Sorry for disturbing. Uh, what if we have an intensive meeting over? We can't use it in our country. Um, what you can use, you know, you, you can use a computer or you can use your cell phone. That's both okay. okay. But uh, this it's no, I mean, look, Laoshi, we are using WoW meeting instead of Tencent meeting, which is English version of Tencent meeting. Uh, here, as you you saw last time uh, in last lecture, we couldn't see uh, the yeah. file which I, is I think that uh, I will distribute the uh, exam, uh, final exam paper, okay, uh, through the uh, WeChat group. Yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, because that uh, you let me say again, okay, you still cannot, uh, uh, you still cannot use, uh, let's say the uh, document okay, through your uh, cell phone, uh, cell, cell, through your own version of the template meeting, right? You still cannot say the document, right? Yeah. We, can, we couldn't see the document which you sent it from Tesla. Okay, uh, let me kind of say that, okay? So, okay, so during the exam, okay, your screen okay, should only display the examination paper, okay? And also, okay, on, on the sheet, okay, you should write the uh, question number okay, and your answer clearly. Then, okay, uh, the uh, question type, okay. Uh, the question type, okay, is, uh, includes the multiple choice, fill in blanks, questions and answers, and uh, comprehensive questions. Okay. 
So after the exam, okay, within five minutes, okay, you should uh, uh, scan your answer sheets and convert them okay, into one single PDF file. Okay. Then name it with your student ID and send it to my uh, uh, email address. Okay. So uh, there are some apps can help you to scan uh, your answer sheets, okay, such as uh, camera scanner. So please try such apps before the final exam. Okay. Just send me one single PDF file, okay, not a bunch of uh, JPG files, okay. Okay, so uh, please ask me questions okay, about the final exam. Okay. Hello, Darcy. Hello. Yeah. Uh, final exam covering every lesson that we have taken so far. Sorry, uh, can you speak uh, loudly? Okay, Darcy, can you hear me now? Uh, yes. Uh. Okay, so the final exam, does it cover every lesson that we have learned so far? Uh, not every lesson. Okay, actually, okay, okay, I provide you with the final review, right? Okay, this is mm -hmm. the important uh, points. Okay. So you don't have to. Understand. You don't have to uh, uh, give you all the slides. <laughs> yeah, can you give us the PDF? Can you give us the PDF for the? Yeah, I will review. give you the final review PDF after class. I don't worry about it. I will give it. Give it to you. I don't worry. Mm -hmm. Any question? Be free to ask me, okay? So I suggest that okay, you try the uh, the scanner 
apps. Okay. But uh, uh, otherwise, you just uh, take the photos and uh, you cannot uh, convert them into one single file. Okay. But uh, if you use other, such the apps, okay, uh, they have the functionalities to convert uh, several photos together. And uh, be sure that uh, the sequence are uh, correct. Okay. So I see you have more time to submit the PDF file. Five minutes not enough, I think. Yeah, five minutes after the uh, after the end of the exam. Yeah. It's not enough, I think, because we should take the picture and convert to PDF and type your email. After that, we should send it. It takes at least 10 minutes. Okay, yeah, fine, yeah. 10 minutes is also fine. 10 minutes is also fine. Thanks. The multiple choice is uh, uh, just uh, actually just uh, one single choice. Okay, no, no uh, there's no uh, not uh, select several choice. Just one single, okay, one single choice. Uh, and uh, fill in the blanks. Okay, uh, and each uh, question of the fill in the blanks, they just uh, they just exist one blanks to be filled. And uh, just purely, it's uh, just need to, uh, we just need to write one word okay, uh, on the blank. And uh, okay, be sure to uh, write the question number uh, clearly. Okay.
by the way, yeah, I see that uh, uh, some of you okay, uh, uh, miss uh, several homeworks and uh, experiments. Okay, so if possible, okay, please submit it. Okay, uh, otherwise, okay, you know that uh, uh, the homeworks and experiments, okay, and also the attendance takes the forty percent. Percentage uh, of the total score, okay. while the final uh, takes the sixth percentage of the uh, final score. So, uh, if you want to, uh, you submit them okay, before uh, the. Uh, before uh, before this weekend, okay. Yeah, for the question, for the answers and the questions, okay, uh, don't write too much, okay, uh, not, uh, not that complex. Okay. Um, 
It's just uh, maybe just a, know, a few words or just a one or two, okay. uh, a few a few sentences. Not too much. Okay, so I'm not. So we stop here today. Okay, so uh, uh, good luck for your final exam. Okay, bye bye. So, well, should we do our class next next week? Uh, the 18th week. I mean, next week. Next week we don't have any uh, any class. Okay, this is uh, this is the last lecture. This is the sixteenth week, yeah, the last lecture. So you can check your, <coughs> your class um, schedule in your system. Okay, yeah. this is our last lecture. Mm. Okay, ah, you. Mm.